Okay, so what's up everyone? I am recording on something completely different than I usually do. I usually use my Canon T3i, well Canon Rebel T3i, but I recently, which I'm super excited about, I got a GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black Edition. So that is something I'm mainly going to be using while I am vlogging at Disney World. And it'll be super awesome for all the action shots and roller coasters and underwater adventures I have. Just to let y'all know, I have never packed to move anywhere. I have always lived right here in my room. So this is a big deal. I'm having to pack my whole life, I feel like. Um, and move eight hours away. Just some details on how I'm getting to Florida. I am driving my car and my parents are driving to follow, my parents are following me. So I will have the luxury of having two cars to put all my crap in. So I am definitely going to be overpacking slightly. So I just wanted to tell y'all um, some tips that I'm using or have created uh, to kind of help me pack and get ready to move. So the first one I did watch a other a few other videos on uh, packing and this girl made a video I'll link her description channel whatever below because it was a really great idea and she has a really great packing video as well. She said instead of actually um, using a bunch of boxes when you're driving to get those big reusable uh, like grocery bags and you can put a bunch of clothes in there whatever else miscellaneous things you need and if you happen to have an apartment on the second or third floor you're able to carry them easily up to your apartment rather than lugging huge boxes they also pack easier into your car so you'll get more stuff and your car with like more space um, so that is something I'm probably definitely probably definitely that is something I'm going to be utilizing uh, while I pack okay, so another tip I have for packing is to create a list Let's see, I'm just so trying to use this GoPro okay so create a list um, my list is divided up into sections. The first section is being uh, buy in Orlando. So that's going to be stuff like cleaning supplies, trash bags, um, laundry detergent, stuff like that. Um, then I go into the next section, which is your common spaces. Um, those will be, you know, the TV, iron, ironing board, toaster, Keurig, etc. Um, what I definitely highly recommend. It's discussing who's bringing what for the common spaces between your roommates. Because the last thing you need is like six toaster, four Keurigs, and like three brooms. I don't know. So just discuss it with your roommates. And uh, what I did is I would put the item and a dash and uh, put the name of whoever's bringing it. Um, I have the bedroom and bathroom section, and I have these next to certain items, which means buy at home. Um, I will probably put maybe a link to my list or a copy of my list. It's very specific to myself so I don't forget anything, um, but I'm sure you could get the general idea of what I'm trying to get at. Um, then I'll have clothes section, which is very long. I um, am clothes obsessed and I never know what I'm going to be in the mood to wear. I have my toiletry section and a lot of that I will be buying like right before I leave. Um, so I can have like all fresh new stuff. And then where I have decorative and mis miscellaneous section. And the last section is super important. It is your must have, must have section. And that will be your employment eligibility document money because you're not going to be paid your first week or two weeks. And then insurance and if you're driving like I am, your vehicle registration and insurance. Get closer to me. And before you actually start the process of packing, I highly recommend going through all of your stuff you have in your room, all of your clothes. Um, it makes it a lot more easier for you to know what you need to bring down there. And if you have places like Plato's Closet, 
Um, even consignment shops, you're able to like resell the stuff that you don't need anymore and make money. And you can buy things for your apartment or help you get down there. Um, I did that and I also had a garage sale with a lot of things that I didn't need anymore and I made money with that. So go through all of your stuff before you actually start packing and it will be a lot more easier um, when you need to decide what you need to bring. Another really good idea is to actually roll up your clothes when you're packing rather than folding them. Um, it saves a lot more space and I've been told that when you take your clothes out of the bag, box, suitcase that you're packing in, your clothes will be less likely to be wrinkled. They like some jackets and it actually like rolled up really small and I saved a lot of space in my reusable um, bags that I'm packing in. So I highly recommend rolling your clothes up when you're packing. Okay, so this concludes my packing video. I really hope it helped you out. Um, I know these tips really helped me out and the next time I will be seeing y'all um, will be when I am living in Walt Disney World. So uh, stay tuned for a whole lot of vlogs of my program and the journey I will be going on. Alright, have a great day guys. Magical. Well, have a magical day. Have a really magical day!